Hello, Aries. This is your mid-month. See what's going on with you guys. Taking you towards the end of the month here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Personal reading info is down below the video, guys. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Aries. Celtic cross. The energy that's around you is the moon. Okay. Let's see what your challenge is here. Hmm. The Seven of Cups. Hmm. Okay. While you're here, like the issue is, wow, the world. Okay. Let's see what was going on with you guys in the past. The Ten of Wands best possible outcome here is the high priest. There's a lot of majors going on, my gals, my guys. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Mm, four of Pentacles. How you see yourself. The chariot. Wow. Hmm. What is the outside influence? The hierophant. Hmm. We have one, two, three, four, five, five majors so far. Let's see what your hopes are. Temperance. And your fears. Hmm. Eight of Swords. And what is the overall outcome here? The Hanged Man. Hmm. Aries, Aries, Aries. So what's going on around you guys right now is that with the moon, you see everything for what it is, okay? Um, and you are very, very intuitive, very intuitive. So you get a feeling about things. You know how to move. Um, you know when to hold back. Your challenge here is to stay in a place where you can determine what is real, what is not, what is good for you and what is not, to stay clear, okay? But also to realize that, you know, there is not just one option for you. You have several opportunities coming your way is what I'm feeling okay several opportunities stay clear stay alert okay stay on point that is what your challenge is to stay on point okay so how you're seeing yourself is uh, the chariot moving forward towards things that benefit you um, things that you want to do in this life I think everything that you're doing right now is for your greater good and that's how you are feeling like you're trying to get it okay we have a lot of cancer energy a lot of water going on here um, a, a very emotional time for you I feel okay now why this is happening the issue here there is no issue um, the thing is you went through something um, you endured whatever struggle that came your way here in the past with oppression with the ten of wands that's over you're no longer restricted you're no longer held down nobody's holding you down anymore no situations are holding you down anymore you have completed that cycle you are on to something new you're starting over again okay it's like a brand new you is what I'm feeling best possible outcome is that you will continue to be to live in this your true spirit your true nature in using your heart using your heart to determine how you move but also instinctually knowing when to pull your hands off this is knowing when to engage and when to disengage okay what's coming in for you is stability 
beautiful beautiful you will know when to take your hands off of something you will know what to lend your time to what you see that has um, potential growth to it this is what's coming in for you growth stability now your outside influence is the Hierophant if I can pick this up <laughs> the Hierophant uh, believing in yourself constantly learning new things but knowing what's right for you and what's wrong for you I feel like you guys are sharing this with other people as well I feel like you have this very a lot of you have this very intuitive spirit about you um, very psychic energy you have a lot of you have the, this knowing Maybe some of you are clairvoyant, clairsentient, um, but you have this strong ability. And I feel like you know it. Maybe you haven't honed in on it, but I feel like that's what you're doing here. Okay? I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Now, what your hopes are is to have harmony. To have harmony in your life. Harmony with the people that you deal with. Some of you may are, you know, maybe like getting into a connection here, a relationship, because the Hierophant also is symbolic of a relationship. I feel like there is somebody that is holding on to you as well, Taurus energy. But your hopes is just to be harmonious. To have balance in your life. To have stability in your life. To have this equal give and take with someone. You know, to embark on those things that you are excited about. And to lend emotion to those things as well. But, you know, just keep it, you know, at this equal level. Not overdoing anything. Okay? Your fears is that <laughs> that won't happen with the eight of swords that there will be some kind of interference with your harmony you don't want any disruption you want things to go smoothly nobody trying to come in and steal your peace maybe an air sign that you are thinking about that may come in and steal your peace Gemini Libra Aquarius but the thing is in the overall outcome I feel like, you know, you guys, again, if this energy comes in as an interference with your, you know, your happiness, I feel like you guys will do absolutely nothing. You will remove yourself from it. You will take your hands off of it. I feel like you will disengage. You will not lend your energy to this sort of behavior that is coming in to disrupt whatever it is that you have going on here okay guys so we have Pisces here Sagittarius energy Capricorn Taurus Cancer um, Scorpio energy and um, yeah it does not have to be those signs but that is the energy that is present here um, you guys have this major 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 shift going on this year and um, I think this is the year for Aries okay so I will be speaking with you soon bye now